to Fit Equine Beauty 007. It's me, Tiaja, and I am looking a mess because I took a shower for after my lesson today, and I didn't feel like doing makeup or anything because it's just hot as all get out here. And yeah, just makeup and heat and sweat just doesn't even appeal to me. So, anyways, I'm coming at you today with a huge and probably the last haul of equine horsey stuff I'll probably be doing for a very long time. I can maybe for a very long time, yeah. Um, it's a collective show tack haul because I have my very first show horsey show um, on Sunday. Yes, today is Friday. So I have the first horse show on Sunday, Breeze's first horse show on Sunday, and we've only been training for five months, uh, with a lot of breaks because of when it did rain, it rained a lot. Um, but we're just doing walk, trot classes. I'm going to enter walk, trot, equitation novice, first and second year, uh, walk, trot, English pleasure, 35 and over, which they will probably end up um, combining with the 17 to 34, because I doubt there will be two 35 and over. It would be nice if there was, but I doubt it. And then possibly, maybe, depending on how he does at his very first show, being trailered in somewhere completely different. Um, I may do English Pleasure Walk Trot Championship, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, he's not going alone. We're taking his pasture mate. My trainer is going to show his pasture mate. The original plan was my trainer was going to show Breeze in like one or two classes to kind of get him settled in, and then I would do the rest. But since she's going to show Jackson, and she's going to show another horse that she trains in the jumping se session, the jumping classes prior to that, I'm going to have to just do all of Breeze's classes, which is going to be interesting, but hey, you know what? I just got to jump into the pool with both feet, or head first, whichever, depending on how deep it is. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, I'm doing, so today is Friday, we had a lesson today, tomorrow I'm going to practice, and then tomorrow we're going to work on loading him, because he's not really all that great at loading, and now that we have the straight load trailer, the only trailers he's ever been in is a four horse slant load and a two horse slant load. He's been in the four horse slant load twice, a two horse slant load once, which was kind of awkward for him because it was smaller. And now we're trying for a two horse straight load, so we'll see. Um, we practiced once already, and I got him in there twice. I, I'd say two and a half times. So my trainer is going to help us practice with both horses tomorrow, and the show is on Sunday. So. I'm probably going to do a get ready with me for the show. I'm probably going to do a show prep and packing thing. I'm not quite sure. Depending on my time because I just feel so frazzled time trying to figure out this whole like preparation for a show thing, even though it's just a schooling show, but I'm very O C D anal, whatever. So but I know once I get it done the first time around all the other shows thereafter. It's like I already, I'll know what to do, where to pack, what to pack, and so forth. So, anyways, on with the collective show haul. So, I'm going to do everything that I've bought so far, and then my shows, my clothing, because I'm doing English, so, yeah, I get to look like a CHP officer. Anyways, okay, so, first... I'm going to do my Dollar Tree and 99 cent store haul. Um, 
Okay, so yes, this looks like an icing container because that's what it is. It's icing. Oh, my hair. Hmm. Just like alfalfa. Wait, no, not alfalfa. Buckwheat. Anyways. Okay, that's better. But what is in here is I bought some cheapy 99 cent cornstarch for Breeze's white sock. Because he has one white sock. And unfortunately, it is always the sock or the foot that he poops on. Really drives me crazy. So I got cornstarch to whiten and white, 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 whiten his um, white sock. Um, I'm probably going to mix it with water and paint it on, let it dry, and then brush off the excess before I polish his hoops. So yeah, that I got from the 99 cent store because <laughs> I didn't want to spend grocery store money on cornstarch. Anyways, then I got, uh, came with two, but they're microfiber towels for cleaning, um, just like wiping the dust and stuff off of him and my saddle and stuff like that just so I'm gonna have like a ringside bag for my groom which will be my mother um, to wipe the dust and stuff off of my boots and my saddle before I go on for each class um, storage bags just to put things in like sewing kits or whatever like a little um, Mini sewing kits in case they pop a button or something. So, you know, we got boots. Buttons can pop. Uh, this, these little containers, travel bottles, it has a spray bottle, which I'm going to put mousse or gel and water in for braiding. And then one of these little squeeze bottles I'm going to put gel in just for braiding purposes because I don't I've never braided before so I'm not sure what I'm going to actually need to use to braid his mane and tail. Um, I have some other stuff like uh, weave thread and needle that I'm going to use that I already had so it's not in this haul but it'll probably be on like, my packing and show gear thing. I don't know video that will come some time later. So I'm not sure when I'm going to need to braid his tail to make it easy for me. Because I suck at French braiding. I'm okay with the mane. I'm sure I can do that. But when it comes to his tail, I just figure thank goodness it's a schooling show because then I can just leave it undone if it don't work out. Uh, a cheap dollar brush. Which way does it go? Yeah. I think that's the, yeah. Just a cheapy brush. Um, it was a dollar just to keep in the ringside box, bag, whatever I'm going to use. So in between classes I can, somebody can do this tail. If it starts to get like naughty or, okay, because I'm telling you, it's first show so I don't know what might happen and I like to prepare for everything. OCD anal. Okay. Alright. This is going to be just for water for his mane when I'm braiding it. And then this is like so awesome. It is a super soft microfiber cloth. I mean it's like fur. Oh my gosh. So I am going to actually cut this in half and this is going to be used to polish my saddle and also to pol well, polish anything, bits, um, saddle, my boots, so I'm going to cut them into, because it looks like it's going to be pretty big, I'm going to cut it into fours, and because I have a serger, I'm going to do the same hem on it so it doesn't like unravel. So I have four of them, one for my saddle to polish it, one for my boots, and one for um, like all my silver bits and stuff like that. Um, okay, love the dollar store because look at this big old thing of moose. It's just for my horse, so it really doesn't matter if it's like it says. Does it say super gold? 
I don't know. It's April bath and shower. Hair mousse. I'm sure it's extreme whole well, it's extremely flammable. <laughs> so um yeah, so mousse to kinda keep his flyaways down and stuff like that. So that is my dollar haul. Yes. Okay. Then I have a Walmart haul, which doesn't consist of too much. Okay. So I also bought just a little travel size of hairspray. Again, for his mane and tail, because I don't know what I'm going to need. Don't know. So, yarn for braiding. I also have brown thick thread, which is for like buttons that I, that I already had. And then again, like I said, I have weave thread, which I'll probably end up using because I don't know if I'm going to use the yarn idea. I really I want to do button braids on him. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the weave thread and needle. And speaking of, so I have these. I got these at Walmart. Oh, they're just plastic yarn needles. Um, so that way, you know, I don't poke him. But I do also have, like, weed needles. And I have these in metal for sewing because I like to sew. So I have some if I need to use them. But I'm going to try this because I don't want to poke him. And also have a pull through that I bought, but I lost it. I haven't even used it yet, and I've already lost it. Um, and then I bought little soap containers. I love these things. They're just little soap containers that you travel with, but they're great for like storing things. Like you can put like your little travel sewing kit in here. You can put braiding bands. You can put. Um, you know, um, what do they call it? The things to go for your numbers. Um, da, 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 da. Safety pin. You know, they're just great for travel, so that's what I bought them for. So, uh, very OCD and like everything in its place. Yes. So. Oh. I bought uh, rubbing alcohol. This is only for. Um, which I'll probably end up putting some in this little bottle for um, getting when I'm doing hoof polish. I read that like if you make a mistake and get a little bit on his um, fur or his coat, you can use this or like on your hands or whatever. So I got this to remove it. And then because again, anal OCD. I like things to be perfect, so to get like really close to his coronary band um, with the polish because I think it just has a little ball thingy, I got a paintbrush so I can get really close in there, close to his coronary band without getting it on his fur, and then use the alcohol to remove it. This is going to be such a long video. Sorry, maybe I'll do it in two parts. And then this brush I got for mixing and putting on his cornstarch, on his white sock. Okay. Next is, I guess you can call it like a Lowe's Walmart haul. So what I did was, because I really like the idea of the magnets to hold the numbers on you're back. Um, without, because, you know, I'm sorry, I don't have all the money in the world to put pinholes into my jacket. So, um, I hope you guys can hear me because I have my fan on because it's hot. Um, yeah, so I bought some magnets from Lowe's. They were $2.00. So this is what they look like. $2.98 for the magnets. And you know, these, to get these at the 
tax stores and online, it's like $19.99 minimum for cute little magnet, number magnets. So what I did was, first pair, I had some buttons already, so I just cut off the button thing of the back, and I glued on cute little buttons. So, and see, so they're held on, they're holding on. So I probably will wear these on Sunday. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with black since my jacket is navy blue. So I also made, I got these cute little pearl-esque buttons at Walmart. They were 67 cents for three, so I had to buy two pack. And yeah, so if I just don't want to have the black dots on my back, I have white. And so I figured I'd let my trainer tell me which ones. But I also have um, safety pins just in case. Just in case. Got to be prepared. So yeah. Lowe's $2.98. I already had these buttons and I spent less than $2 on these buttons. So all together I think. Hold on. I spent less than five dollars on two sets of number magnets, so that's that. This is my Higby's Country Bead haul. So the one thing at Higby's, two things that I got at Higby's that I don't have with me. One is a lime green trailer tie. And the other is a bag of, hold on, they go potty on it, it's not litter, it is, okay, I can't even still, I don't know what the hell they're called, um, that it inflates the pine, shavings, oh my, oh my god, <laughs> shavings, a bag of shavings <laughs> for the trailer, oh my god, oh my god, um, anyway, so yes, that's something that I didn't do that there's not on there. Okay, so this right here is actually not a show thing, um, but I did have to get it because since now he is shod, he clips his back hooves, and he's constantly hitting his coronary band. So he's constantly injuring his coronary band, and I don't like it. And it just so happened that while I was there looking, trying to figure out what to get him, his farrier was there, because his farrier hunts, and they were, he was getting some quail um, to train his cute little doggy, Anna, Anna, and Annie, Annie, sorry, the barn owner's dog's name is Anna, my farrier's dog, little puppy, her name is Annie, and so, yeah, and so he happened to be there, and he told me these are what I wanted, the pull-on ones, because I was about to buy um, the Velcro ones, but yeah, so I got these, they're for his back hooves, and they're just for training purposes, because I don't want him injuring himself, so they are made in England, which is cool, because my trainer is Walsh, so I got them in a large, and they are just for practicing because I'm tired of him bleeding on his coronary band. So that is what that is for. I won't be using this in the show. Maybe not till when we're jumping or something. Because he doesn't overreach, so. Um, then I got another, and I think this one is actually longer, trailer tie. Um, I got it in gray because I plan on painting the inside of my trailer a light gray or white. I don't remember. But so I have a lime green one and a gray one and I like this one and it was eleven ninety nine. I was gonna do the bungee one but I've seen online the reviews for those and they seem like they don't last very long. So I got these. Then I got 
I was trying to decide between Shoshin or this one, Mane and Tail Shine On, which apparently this is what I got. Um, I like the price difference, even though this was $15.99 and the Shoshin was on sale for $15.99, but this one had a $4 off coupon, so I only paid $4. Oh my gosh, math, yeah, you wouldn't know that I used to be a teacher. $11.99 for this, um, because talking to the girl at the store, she said that Shoshin tends to kind of be a little, like, not greasy, but, I don't know, so, I, I, I wanted to go with this one, because I like the cheaper idea. So I got this, and I bought... Um, the Cowboy Magic Rain Spot Remover. It was either between this one or the Farnam Veteran Green Greenall. I think it's called Greenall. Which was $9.99. And if you bought two Farnam products, you got $4. And I was thinking of getting him some electrolytes, but I think I might just do the Gatorade right thing because I don't even know if he's going to need the electrolytes. It's not like we're doing overnight, three day venting or something. So. Oh, we're just doing a lot of chalk, walk, walk, trot. Um, because this canter, I don't know what happened. I don't know This canter to the left is just, okay, that is a whole nother story. But anyways, so I went on ahead and got this one because it says, problem, you're ready for show ring and show champion has, and your show champion has manure stain all over his side and back. Too late for a new bath. What do you do? Solution. Use the Cowboy Magic Green Spot, dissolve showroom dirt, manure, stains, dried sweat, and other organic matter instantly. Other problem, it's hot, sweaty showroom day, and you're getting ready for the next class, or you just want to go to lunch, but you're kind of smelly and need a quick cleanup. What do you do? Solution, Cowboy Magic Green Spot can be used by show champions, riders, campers, hunters, fishermen, when it's sweaty, smelly, hot, and there's no time for water or, uh, I'm sorry, and there's, yeah, there's not time or water for a shower or bath. So you can use this on yourself. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, so you can use it as a hand cleanser, hair shine, nail and hoof cleanser, nail and hoof conditioner for horses, cattle, dogs, sheep, and hogs. And it just looked really easy. There's no rinsing involved. Spray on body, massage it thoroughly, wipe off with damp towel. Boom. I went with this one. You can use it on yourself. I don't know if I will, but hey, it's one of those days because I swear sometimes when I'm <sighs> after a ride in this heat, I'm telling you, Northern California or not like super, super north, but like Bay Area, East Bay, oh God, it gets so hot. Could be worse, could be Vegas. Um, I'm sorry. Anybody in Vegas, I lived in Vegas. If you ride in Vegas, I so commend you if you ride outdoors because <gasps> I can't even handle walking outdoors, let alone doing anything physical exertion outdoors in the summertime. <laughs> Woo! -wee. Commend you. Uh, last thing I got at, yeah. What was that? Higby's is the Absorbing Super Shine Black Hoof Polish because he has three black hooves and one white. I have clear on here somewhere but that's part of a different store haul um, which I'm actually going to do next but I was really hoping my trainer would say because I bought clear first that I could use clear on all four hooves. I read somewhere that you're supposed to use black on black hooves and clear on white hooves. I was hoping that she would say it would be okay to use clear on all four, but she said no. She said she would, it's, she said I should use black on black hooves, so now I have two shoe polishes. Next horse I get, they're going to have one color hoof all the way around. One of the things I'm going to specifically look for in my next horse. Next haul is um, Woodlands Tack Warehouse or Brenda's Tack, which is something else. Hold on. 
Okay, I'm back. So, again, not specific for the show, but I did get him finally. I got him this year a fly mask, Cashel. This is the only fly mask I ever want to have for my horse. I don't know why, but this is just. I used to lease a horse named Gator from Morgan, and this is what she used on him, and I really liked it because it has the opening for the forelock, which Breeze has a horrible forelock, so I don't want any extra friction on his forelock if I don't have to. And then I just like the idea of the ears. But apparently they make these. I saw this at Christian's. But, like, the ears have cute patterns. So the next one I get, I'm going to get that one. So, yeah. I love these little containers like that your sheets and pillowcases and stuff come in because they come in so handy. I'm probably going to use these to put tail bags in because I make those myself. Um, anyway, so my Woodland haul is my show clothes, which is just my shirt. I got it at a discount. Let's see. I don't know. It is I don't know if you can see it. on on course. I never heard of it before, but I don't know. It came with two rat catchers, which I put in one of those little storage bags and just hanging it on the thing so I don't lose them. Um, I like it because it's kind of tailored. See that? Sorry, my fan. Hold on. So it's kind of tailored. So if I have to, if they forgo jackets, um, it'll be kind of form fitting and not just like a big bulky shirt. So it's white with like, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah. It's like kind of like stripes. Um, or, So that's the shirt I got. It was thirty. No wait, how much was it? It was thirty-five dollars, but it was fifty percent off. So we got. And we didn't know that until we got to the register. So I was really excited about it. And it comes with two rat catchers. So there's that. And next thing is my jacket. The jacket is. Tough Rider, and I was excited because out of all the jackets I tried on, this one fit me the nicest. It is considered navy blue, but it's like a, I don't know, I think it's charcoal. Maybe it's charcoal, I don't know. It just says plaid here, but it's the Devon, 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 I don't know. Have an accent with it, on. Um, and it's plaid, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, it's got like a little purplish. I really wanted a straight classic navy blue. Actually, no, it's navy and charcoal. But anyways, it was only. $89.95 and out of all the jackets I tried on this one fit me perfectly it just fit my waist it fit everything I mean I can't gain any more weight but I'm working on losing it because my poor boy I'm sure he does not want to carry a heavier me on his back um so yeah it's very fitted and it just it really I like it I really like it it's comfortable it, it fit perfect, and of all the ones that fit perfect, it was the one that was under $100. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Okay, so then I went to... Do they have price tag on here? Is this where I went? I can't think of the name. I'll put it up. Um, I think it's Christensen, Christiansen's in Lewis. So, like, past Sacramento. Um, yeah, so 
there I got my clear hoof polish for his one hoof. Um, so this was the other thing I got. That Christian see. Hold on. Heritage Contour Build Zip. Ariat Heritage, and these look good. I really like the look of the Da Vinci's when it was fitting the foot, the leg that it fit nice on. But so it's got the cute little Ariat symbol. It's got the spur holder thingies there. Even though I don't ride with spurs with Breeze, um, just because he doesn't, I don't think he really needs it right now. Um, he, he pretty much has good go. Um, only thing I need with him is just a, a crop because he just, yeah. Sometimes he, he might want to buck a little bit, so I gotta get him to go. But, um, yeah, so I like these. They have the elastic down the side plus the elastic gusset here. Um, they're pretty comfortable to walk in. I don't think I really have to break them in too much because they're actually pretty comfortable. Um, which is the other reason why I really wanted the Da Vinci's because they just do the whole, like, they perfect. You don't have to break them in, pretty much. But, um, but I do love Ariat. I mean, my cowgirl boots are Ariat. My first ever paddock boots, which I still wear, are Ariat. And now I have these because they're just... We're getting comfortable. We're gonna say so. That's Christensen. Um. Yep. So that is my whole show tackle. I am set for show. Being competitive figure skating, you just everything had to be like boom, perfect. And so I know it doesn't have to be that. <laughs> with a schooling show, but it's just my mentality, um, I'm very competitive, uh, I'm going to go to the show, I want to be turned out like I'm supposed to be, for the show. And anyway, so that's it, if you have any questions, please leave them down below, comment, rate, and subscribe, and yeah, and I'll have some more videos for you guys coming, um, document our first show and Breeze's first show together so that will be coming sh shortly because that's um, the day after tomorrow yeah so peace